Hello, I am Rick the Belmont 12. Welcome to Let's Play. Something by Konami. The ancestors of the Belmont fam family were doomed to confront the power of evil incarnate. I mean, Dracula! Oh boy. In 1917, the Countless sought to revive the long dead spirit of a vampire. Her name was Elizabeth Bartley, Dracula's niece. To revive him, she needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. Oh boy. Two young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny, push back the evil hordes, and drive the vampire back into its dark netherworld. John Morris and Eric Lacard. This is Castlevania Bloodlines 1994 for the Sega Genesis. The only Castlevania game on the Sega Genesis. There's another one called Bloodlining for the 32X, but it wasn't released. But let me tell you something. Bloodlining looks great. You play as older Richter Belmont, you see older Marie, Maria, and you see a random rival vampire hunter. Which is so cool! Come on, Konami! Re-release it! Re-remake the game! I don't know. So, we're gonna leave the difficulty on normal. We're gonna go to five lives. Start. And, start! We can play as John Morris or Eric Lacard. John Morris was born in December 12th, 1895, in Texas. His main weapon of choice is the Vampire Killer. Eric Lacard, May 3rd, 1892, in Segova, Spain. Alucard, speak. Yeah, oh yeah, Alucard's a typo. For those wondering, yes, Alucard did have a spear. Only in the Saturn version of Sympathy Tonight did he have a spear. We're gonna play through this game twice. One, f one as John Morris, and another as Eric Lacard. As always, John's first. So let's play. And our first level. Stage one: Ruins of Castle Dracula in Romania. Oh yeah. Here we go. And the castle, the castle Dracula, still up there, huh? Come on, John Morris. Let's use that vampire killer. Well, wait a minute. It's cur it's tainted. My bad. Stage one start. Now, self hearts, we get gems. Same controls as always. You got you jump. You got your whip. Pick up three power ups like that. Extend your whip from vampire kill to chain whip to morning star. You dig it. You do get a fourth one, fourth power up, but. If you if you get hit, you'll lose that four power. Invincibility and I've disappeared. Why? Just like the invincibility jar in the original Castlevania. All right, let's see where we are. let's see where we can get far in this game. Ooh, peeping eye. Um, let's see. For those who don't know why I said um the vampire killer is tainted. Go look up on Sympathy Tonight. You see how the vampire kill was misused. And hence, that's why he became tainted. Using sub weapons, just pressing the C button. Ow. Yeah, pressing the C button. Miros acts like Rosario's, kills everything on screen. This is the first Castlevania game that introduces blood and gore. No lie, folks. And using sub weapons is kind of easy. I kind of love it. <laughs> I really do. So we're gonna go here. Ow! Blue. I think blue gems gives you more holy water. Oh yeah! My favorite. Ah, damn it! But mini boss time. The Hellhound. Hey. Ow. Ow. 
now. Die. There you go. Hit it one more time, just for good luck. We are going to... Save. Yeah, we're doing save states because... Yeah. Oh yeah, fighting meat in this game is very easy. Ah, a four power up. Ow. Oh yeah. And our some of it has been changed too. Yes, fighting meat is kind of easy now. But I have to study the map. There's a website to study the... It has every Castlevania, classic Castlevania gameplay style games, maps. I'll post the link in the description so you can find it, find it yourself. Hell oh yeah. Take that. Yes, you can only use them twice. But your whip power-up still remains. You get an ice whip for John Morris and Eric Lucari gets a fire spear. But you only use the power self weapon twice. You think that hurts me, right? Actually, no, it doesn't. It's just part of the background. Oh, nope. <laughs> Take that. Ah. Yeah. There's an option in Re Rebirth that says plas classic control scheme. What that means is you cannot move while jumping. Damn it! Ow! Oh, uh, there goes my um, power whip. But oh well. He's down for the count. <laughs> they look a variety of skeletons, honestly. I mean, wait a minute. I we I will rephrase what I said about the jumping in midair. When you stand still and jump, you can't move. While you're moving and jumping, you can move. Confusion over. This replaces the cross. I don't know why. Oh yeah. One thing to interesting note, the European version of this game is way different. And I mean way different. There's no blood in the title screen. No, there isn't. Did she replace the pool of water and all the blood and gore has been replaced? Just break up a wall? I'll take that. Thank you very much. See, it's very easy to find food now. We're gonna save. Climbing up a bone. Uh, skull dragon thing. I don't know. <laughs> ah, classic Castlevania music. Yeah, you know this music. And we're going up to the boss. It's Dracula. Let's go kick his ass. Let's do it. Holy water. No, don't worry. Let's go kick his ass. Wait a minute. Dracula's gone? Wait a minute, you're not Dracula! Yes, it's the Black Knight. Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight. Where's Mussolini and his blue beanie? I said, back ow. Back off! This guy's no pushover, actually. He's easy for the first boss. <laughs> Knock your weapon now, right in your hand. Now he's gonna spawn kick me! Now he's dead. That's good. And that's it for stage one. Stage one complete! Da -da -da! Da -da -da -da! Yeah! And when we come back, folks, we are going to go to stage two. Yeah, password selection. You get passwords in this game, but I have fucking save states, fool. <laughs> I don't know. When we come back, folks, we are gonna go to Greece. Atlas, Atlantis Shrine, Greece. Oh yeah, from... Circle the Moon, the Abyssal Stairway. And until then, I'll catch you later.